this is Cherry Enchantress, and this is your daily dust for Friday, October 20th, if you're watching in real time, but it can also be for whenever you stumble upon it. It's also a timeless reading. I am, however, in a Halloween countdown using my Halloween tarot and oracle decks, and this one is the Halloween tarot, and that comes in this nice tin. And it's a really great deck. I like to use this deck other times of the year as well. Different parts of the season. <clears throat> it has uh, different suits. But it's very much like the Rider Waite Smith deck. I'm going to give it a good shuffle. And again, and then I'm going to pull from the middle to get a nice collective message. So let's see what we have. We have the Four of Imps, or the Four of Wands, which is the same as it is in the Rider Waite Smith. It's celebration. It's 11-11, Twin Flame. It's all those good things that I love about the Four of Wands. Unlike the Haunted Tarot deck, which had a little bit different meaning, which it, kind of, it was kind of scary, actually, but this one is a good message. It's happy, and yes. Let's see what else. And we have the Two of Pentacles, or Two of Pumpkins. Very nice. And we also have the World card. Very good. Okay, let's zoom on in and see what else we get. So since the traditional tarot suit of wands is linked with the ancient element of fire, the devilish scarlet imps make a delightful Halloween suit equivalent. Fire sparks the creativity that burns inside us, not just artistic ability, but the passion, vision, and labor needed to create or invent anything. In medieval times, wands represented class, and the cards are still associated with the sweat of the brow. The imps are a suit of energy, spirit, growth, and enterprise, reminiscent of the magician who pulls the rabbits out of hats in the Major Arcana. And if your tarot reading reveals a handful of imps, you may be pulling a few rabbits out of hats yourself. So the four of imps represents a well-deserved celebration of accomplishments. It's all about priests prosperity, peace, joy, exuberance, and that romance that we cannot deny in the four of wands, 1111 twin flames coming together. The two of pumpkins makes me think of having your cake and being able to eat it too. Here, the traditional tarot suit of pentacles has been usurped by Halloween pumpkins as the suit of the ancient element earth. The pumpkins described all things that are physical and tangible, real and solid, things you can taste and smell, and of course, count. Older tarot decks used coins as emblems of the medieval merchant class and practical day-to-day -day life. Adding a magical element to the suit, coins became pentacles and metal discs inscribed with mysterious five-pointed state called pentagrams. Today's pentacles, or better yet, pumpkins, also stand for material success. Prosperity, possessions, wealth, the equivalent of a bountiful fall harvest. So, if your tarot reading is heavy with pumpkins, your concerns may be largely those involving the material world. In Halloween tarot, that might mean piles of candy. In this case, two of pumpkins is saying weighing two choices, balancing two situations, competition, duality, conflict of interest, start struggling for harmony but also possibly a bit of wealth on the way. So I feel like this combined with the four of imps could definitely mean something tangible happening between two people here, especially romantically, but it could also be a celebration having to do with work or being able to maintain multiple things at the same time, which leads us all to this wonderful world card, which is very dynamic and strong and powerful. It's about a culmination and, and everything that you're wishing for coming true. 
It represents a sense of oneness with others or in the world around you. It's spiritual understanding. It's that completion. It's success. It's euphoria. It's cycles finally coming full circle. It's movement and travel. And it also represents the four corners of the world and the four fixed signs. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. So this is especially true for you if you're one of those signs. But overall, this is just talking about uh, a feeling of gratification, a satisfaction of a job well done, and not just one job well done, but multiple jobs well done, and feeling success in the moment. It could be beyond the moment, but it feels like a, a completion to the cycle, and then so another one can begin, like closing a door and opening another, but is this a really positive end to a phase that you just completed, something wonderful that you just did. And it could also represent something happening with your love life as well, something feeling really good and balanced, the ability to feel infinite and know that you can do anything that you want and that you can be anything you want within your connections. And so there is a kind of celebration about it, and it's feeling really happy and joyful. So I hope you like that. Faith, trust, and pixie dust.